Okay, Shake and Bake right here. Going to make a quick video on how to load up some of these mod maps uh, folks are making. They're kind of beta mod maps. You can at least check them out, play them. Uh, they're a little glitchy, but uh, pretty awesome. Their guys are cranking stuff out. Um, you can either go to straight to Tripwire and, and search for them or go to the website I've got here I'm putting together, uh, usaro2.spruce.com. I'll post it on the, on the YouTube video. Uh, but basically, let's start off. There's some links here. RO2 mod map. So far, I think I've seen two maps that folks have been working on. I'm going to do the bottom one. You click this. It takes you to Tripwire, the forums. And you'll see here right now, player files for this map. I'm just going to click that. And it takes you to Mediafire, which is file sharing. And basically, you're going to click this download. It's going to start downloading. Once it downloads, um, you pick where you want it to go. I'm going to say for me, for this just sample, my desktop, you can put it wherever you want it. It's going to take a couple minutes to download. So, right here's the file that we just downloaded. You're going to right click it. You're going to extract it. I'm just going to do it to my desktop. You can do it uh, wherever you want. I already have a copy there, so we'll just do that. And there you go. There's the file right there. That's the map that you're going to use. And what you're going to want to do is go in here, go find, go to your C drive, go to your program files. And what you're going to find is your Steam folder. Then you're going to go to your Steam apps folder. Then your common folder. And then you're going to find Red Orchestra 2. Then your row game folder. And then you're going to find your cooked PC folder. And then one called maps. So you're going to open that up. All right, so there's all the maps in here. You're going to go find wherever you put your... Um, map download that you that you downloaded you're gonna find that and mine is down here right here so you see here's my map folder there's that new map I downloaded and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that folder and I'm gonna drag it right up here there's probably a quicker way to do this but uh, I'm old so probably doing it the slow way but uh, you get the idea it's gonna drag it up here as you can see here is the map folder right here. I'm just going to drop it in there. As you can see, I already got one in there, so I'm not going to replace it. So I'm not going to do that. But it will add it to your your maps folder list for that map. And that's it. Bam. You're going to close this out. When you go into your game, I'll show you how to find it. For browser. And if you look right here at the map names, right, I'm going to sort by map name. And let's see if any servers are running those maps. But basically, I go through here and right there. So here's, here's like a map I've downloaded. It's running here. You can see nobody's playing it. I can just join that. And let's see, and there's another one right there. Nobody's playing, but I could join those now because those maps are in my folder. So that's basically it. Uh, I'll post another video for uh, server admins, how to add it to your server here shortly. I uh, hope this helps. If not, post something, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, thanks a lot. Shake out.